Hey, top of the morning to you. Chris here. Updates, April updates. Some big ones. I haven't really posted anything lately because uh, what I've been trying to do is, is make sure that the clearing, the new clearing coming in, has got good validity and we get some results. And <laughs> we're getting some results. Uh, the, the, the big thing, and I think I mentioned this one other report, is the reptilian DNA is definitely a big one um, as humans of course we are uh, conceived created designed by reptilians the arcturians different et sources but primarily the reptilians have had their hands within us for a long long time uh, and i've been finding that if there's an area of your body that is chronically ill chronically weak doesn't work properly removing the reptilian dna out of it replacing it with human DNA all of a sudden things are better okay um, I worked on a young gentleman uh, breathing problems basically since five years old over ten years he's had a lot of issues with with breathing and uh, of course any asthma medication anything like that doesn't quite do the job I removed the reptilian DNA out of him replaced it with human all of a sudden he says that's what it feels like to breathe so there's a lot of validity to it, and I'm removing this from a lot of people. Okay, uh, my wife, you know, move some some of it out of her, uh, and uh, you know, sh the changes you feel immediately, the, the shifting, is 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 pretty uh, big on its own. But then it opens the door. It lets us get in to find more problems, and it gets all the, the crud out of the way. So so the reptilian DNA has been a big one, reptilian RNA, but mostly the DNA. Uh, another uh, new one that I found is uh, now, now okay so so in this work uh, there's a lot of people who have bring in information and, and they, they put it post it put it on YouTube and, and you know, it it's, creates a buzz so so basically this work any kind of energy work is all about discovery discovering things that we don't know already things that, are, that are, have been hidden things that are, are uh, relevant things are relevant within humanity uh, when you take any kind of healing course they talk about the aura the chakras and, and all the different layers of the aura and they talk about the astral body so what I have found if you take that astral body and rename it astral mirror now you're opening a whole new paradigm of, of uh, places to work so for instance that, that a mirror has a front a back and an inside so if you clear out the back of the mirror clear out the front of the mirror clear out the inside of the mirror now the reflection that you're getting off that mirror is a true reflection okay so that you take that clear mirror connect it to source now the reflection in that mirror should be source ask the questions what is the reflection in my mirror what is the problem in my astral mirror ask, ask the different questions and and see what you come up with it's it's proving it's it's um, opening that door it's all about opening that door getting away the veils the hoaxes all of the stuff that's blocking us from truly finding the the, the aspects of humanity that have been uh, hijacked that, that have been taken over and, and manipulated so so this is really working well and then yesterday um, I want to I want to talk about this one because uh, in the universe there's a lot of laws okay that of course we're we're humans we're little monkey brains we just kind of sit around on this planet pick our noses go to work and come home and watch TV right there are these laws that, that we don't know about that that it's like well what does that mean to me you know I, I I drive pretty good I don't break any laws I I'm a good citizen but there's all these universal laws that come into play and one I found yesterday that, that can benefit us in a big way is called the law of subatomic particles to me that that sounded pretty interesting it was, it was quite uh, resonating so what that could mean is, is that of course a subatomic particle is all the components of an atom that's what we're made up of. That's that's the smallest component within our body, next to the photon. So, there there's there's a lot of concept that that could be brought forward with with working with the law of subatomic particles. So, uh, simply just uh, invoke the law of subatomic particles within somebody. Subatomic particles true, and there you have it. Take your little sun ring. Subatomic particles true. Law of subatomic particles true, and that will 
what what that should do I, I haven't got the results on that yet but what it should do is recalibrate all the subatomic particles to their natural state that, that are going to benefit us the most so that that's been what's going on in, in April um, the course is, is going amazing uh, uh, a lot of this, the people who have bought it I'm getting uh, uh, emails you know a couple of uh, emails a week that, that people are getting results and people are amazed at, at the transitions and the differences in their health with you know working on relatives and, and uh, friends and that sort of thing and and, and uh, hey people are going hey it does work so so again if, if uh, you're interested by all means please check out my website if, if you want to take it for a test drive there are free charts on my website that you can download there's about five different charts you can take a pendulum and try working with charts to see how it works for you and um, if, if it resonates if it's like hey you know what something is here then you can consider the course so you don't have to buy it and worry about you know that does it work for me you can you can test drive it and see see how it works there's a lot more stuff coming down the pipe we're, I've got a couple of people with ALS that I'm working with uh, and we're trying to get something going with that to, to see what it's all about I mean something of that nature is definitely uh, not so much a physical problem or of a, a, a spiritual energy problem that we need to work with and it's all about discovery it's all about new information coming in that's what the ascension is all about it's new knowledge knowledge that's been suppressed knowledge that we are not allowed to know for, for whatever reptilian reason so every day we ask the questions we're getting the answers once a week twice a week new clearings come in new ways of working new philosophies new paradigms are coming in check it out chris kaler out